This video gives you a quick overview of the information and tools available for Starlink systems in the KVH Manager web portal. First, go to the Secure Customer Portal at mykvh.com and log in. Your password is available from our Airtime Services Department. Once you've logged in to MyKVH, select Go next to KVH Manager. Let's start with the home page, which appears if you manage multiple terminals. The map shows the locations of all your terminals based on the latest updates received from their antenna systems. You can zoom in or out, or zoom to a specific area on the map. The status indicator, which you'll see throughout the interface, is color-coded. Green means the system is online, red means the system has been offline for less than two days, and gray means the system has been offline longer than two days. Now let's select a Starlink system. This brings up the data usage page. Note that this is the first page you'll see in KVH Manager if you manage a single terminal. Here you can see how much data you have used against your plan's monthly allowance, as well as any overages. Please note this information is an estimate only and could be delayed up to 24 hours. In addition to viewing usage, you can also change your preference for priority overage, if applicable. If opted in, you'll continue to enjoy priority or mobile priority service whenever your data allowance is exhausted. Overage fees will apply. If opted out, you'll instead receive free unlimited non-priority service, which is restricted to land areas. It's important to note that if you're a mobile priority subscriber and you opt out of overage, you won't have any internet access in ocean areas after using your monthly allowance. To see the latest coverage areas, visit starlink.com map. Areas shaded black are considered ocean regions where only mobile priority data can be used. The data usage page also allows you to set up alerts to notify you whenever usage exceeds certain thresholds. Just set your triggers, then add the email addresses or phone numbers of those you want to be notified. It's that simple. Okay, now let's move on to the plan detail page. Here you can find various information related to your Starlink account. You may also append a descriptive tag to its terminal ID. For example, if two Starlinks are installed on a vessel, you might indicate which is on the starboard side and which is on the port side. The network status page provides technical details about the current quality of your Starlink network connection. Refer to the associated help topic for details. The time series graphs on the telemetry page plot historical data about your Starlink connection, such as average downlink and uplink speeds that were experienced during the selected period. The GeoTrack page shows your system's current location, and if the system is installed on a vessel or vehicle, you can view your track for any period within the past year, along with the Starlink system's signal quality during that time. Finally, on the Events History page, you can view the log showing any triggered alerts or plan changes. This concludes our brief tour of KVH Manager. To learn more about any of the features we've touched upon, check out the associated topic in the help. If you have any questions, please contact KVH Technical Support.